For me, the most controlled environment I ever flew in was when I flew as a Thunderbird pilot. You've probably been to air shows, maybe seen the Thunderbirds or the amazing Navy Blue Angels fly. Everything that we do is perfectly orchestrated and choreographed. Every airspeed, every altitude, every single maneuver is precisely practice. A controlled environment for you is probably the day-to-day -day ops tempos, falling back on your basic and foundational process and procedures. Maybe the controlled environment is what life looked like for you and your teams, you know, 18 months ago, pre-pandemic. But when you take a look at that picture in front of you there, that's the six ship Delta formation. The leader's at the very top of the screen there. I'm immediately down and to his right. I flew in the number three right wing position. And people would often ask me like, how do you get a formation to fly this closely together and to do something so elite to such a high level of excellence? And at the end of the day, right, we have a four month long training syllabus. It's crawl to walk to run. There are indeed professional standards and qualifications, just like all of you have in the tech industry. But at the end of the day, when people ask me that question, I tell them it all comes down to discipline, focus and teamwork. The discipline to fall back on our professional behaviors, qualifications, and certifications. The discipline when things start to maybe seem different or the air show feels a little different to fall back on those foundational basics and behaviors. The focus to make sure that we prioritize the right things at the right time. Look, there were times we flew in this formation, right? Six jets, sometimes at 500 feet, 400 miles an hour, upside down, three feet away from each other, and the sun would get in my eye. Or we'd go into a little bit of poofy clouds. At that point, having the focus to realize that the priority is staying on the wing of my leader within my three-foot bubble of accountability that I was given was the most important. And finally, of course, teamwork and the trust that comes with this teamwork. It really is about putting your ego aside and allowing everyone else on their team in their specific roles to take as much pride in doing their job as you take in doing yours. The other thing is building up the muscle memory in a controlled environment. So often we skip these opportunities in controlled settings to prepare for when crisis and chaos come. It is in these controlled settings that we have to maximize and be efficient with our training and with our preparation so that when things do deviate from the controlled environment, we know exactly what to do. It becomes muscle memory, those decisions, which leads into this last thing, this alignment of priorities. You know, take a look again at that formation. We had to fly plus or minus one degree of the leader. We had to fly plus or minus two to three knots of the leader for that formation to stay aligned, for that formation to come together for us to put on those maneuvers in that elite air show. It is the leader, you, the CIO, the CTO, the tech executive, that has to set those priorities and make sure that they are communicated to everybody else in the formation and that those people fully understand what the priorities are and why, and when priorities might need to shift and you have empowered and enabled and resourced them to know what to do through muscle memory if priorities need to shift and to change. You know, there was a saying we had on the Thunderbirds, with, which was, when in doubt, make sure that you're always going the same way, same day. Ask yourself, are you and your team aligned on priorities? Do they know what same way, same day means? Are they empowered to make decisions around those priorities? What are they empowered and resourced and able to do to stay in alignment with you?